Hello. God is able. Very nice. How are you? To open your eyes. Uh, Mr. New Love is here again. Uh, today I want us to look at algebra. Uh, solve for x. Assuming you have a question and it says you should solve for x. I want us to look at the basics. Because this one, even though it starts in grade 9, you are going to meet it in grade 10. Even in grade 11. So you need to know the basics in grade 9, grade 8. Alright. So let's look at this. This one. Assuming you have this question and it says solve for x or solve this equation x plus 2 is equals to 5 now how do we solve it i want us to look at it practically here the information says drag the correct operation into the square which square are we talking about this side we want to fill this side what are we supposed to put here what operation are we supposed to put here? What are the operation? Plus, minus, times, minus, plus. Which one are we supposed to put here? Alright. So, let's try and see whether this one holds. No. What about this? Yes. Is that okay? So, if we have x plus 2, what we do is, this is plus, so you find the additive inverse of plus. Additive inverse of plus is what? Minus. So, plus 2, you, to find the additive inverse is going to be what? Minus 2. So, plus 2 is going to be minus 2. And it's supposed to be equal to what? 5. Anything you do to the left hand side of the equation, you have to do to the right hand side of the equation. So at the left hand side, we said minus 2. So this side already we have 5 here. So at the right hand side also, we must say what? Minus 2. Anything you do to the left, you have to do to the right. So the left hand side is minus 2. The right hand side must also be minus 2. All right. Okay. Now you know plus two minus two is going to give us what zero. Plus two minus two is what zero. It's like plus two is like two. Two minus two is what zero. Plus three minus three is zero. So here the whole of this is going to blow to what? zero so we are going to have x only this x here then at the right hand side of the equation what do you think will be here is it this no or this yes so this sign will still remain it will not change it's only this plus 2 minus 2 that will blow to 0. So we see that we still have 5 minus 2 at the right hand side of the equation. And 5 minus 2, what would that give us? 3. Is that okay? Let's do another example. God is able to open your eyes to see your This time, we are going to look at x plus 6 you will lift you up x plus 6 top, top, and you will be shining anything you touch this is the question let me bring it up x plus 6 is equals to 10 you are supposed to solve for x so we are supposed to solve this equation the information here says we need to drag the correct component from the triangle into the square. Which triangle? This triangle. We need to drag it into the squares. Alright. So in this square, which component? 
is supposed to be in this square. Is it this plus? Let's check. Oh yeah, it's a plus. How? The question says x plus 6. And they've given us this information. x, then they, they wrote a box here. 6 minus 6. Are we together? So it means this side is supposed to be what? Plus. So that we satisfy the condition of additive inverse. Remember, when it was plus, we said it's what? Minus. So this side is plus 6. So this will be minus 6. So at the right hand side, this side is going to be plus. Alright. Because in the question, there was plus here. Now, at the right hand side, it's already done for us. How did you get it? It was 10 because we found the additive inverse, which is minus 6. This side is also going to be minus 6. Okay. Now, the next thing we are going to do is we need to fill this box as well. Okay, let's fill this box. This side. This square. Let's fill this square. Now, let's see which component in this triangle satisfy this. Is it this? Times? No. Is it this minus? Yes. Why? Because it's already 10 minus 6 at the right hand side. So this is not going to change. It will still be 10 minus 6. Alright. Okay, so 10 minus 6, what would I give you? Change your situation. Is it going to be this? No. Is it going to be this? Division? No. Is it going to be 4? Yes. 10 minus 6 is what? 4. Alright. Okay. The next thing we are going to do is let's look at this. We are going to do this one for me. That's ticket 1. This the classwork. So you have x plus 8 is equals to 12. You do it. Y plus 4 is equals to 9. This time it's not x. So if it is y, it means you are solving for y. Okay. Then the next one. Z plus 3 is equals to 10. So if it is z, what are you doing? You are solving for what? Z. The example I did, it was X. Now, I've involved Y, Z. Because some of the questions you may have Z, M, Q, W. Alright. So, it's not always solved for X. When the variable, these are the variable. If it is, the variable is W, it means you are solving for W. Okay, let's play a game. To assist you. Let's play a game. Okay, we have team A and team B. Team A and team B. We are going to play and see which one is going to win. So, the first team is going to spin. Let me just click anywhere. Okay, we have this question. Daniel was placed in X minus 8 is equal to 2. We are solving for X. Né? We are solving this equation. X minus 8 is equal to 2. Then they have solved it for us. We want to find out whether it's true or it's false. The next step says 2. X is equal to 2 plus 8 x is equals to 10 so x is equals to 10 
Is it true or false? That is correct, team A. Got it. Okay, now team A has 100 points. Let's look at team B. Team B is going to spin now. There's another question. Oh, still A. Okay, because you got it correct. Ne? My God is able. Let's see your finances. My God. Whether it's true or it's false. Z minus 6 is equal to 20. Is able to upgrade your life. My God is powerful to change your life today. My God is able. My God is powerful. It's going to change your life. Okay, let's play a game. We are going to start. We are starting again. Now, the first team, Team A, we have two teams, Team A and Team B. They are going to play together and see which team is going to win. So, Team A is going to spin. Okay, the next question is, is what more spin? So I need to spin again. Okay, this is the question. X minus 7 is equals to 10. X minus 7 is equals to 10. Which one is the correct answer? Is it 10 minus 7 equals to 3? 10 plus 7 is equal to 17. 10 plus 7 equals to 17. Which one do you think is the answer? Or 10 minus 7 is equal to 3. Which one do you think is the answer? Okay, let's try this. Uh oh, that's not correct. He has lost the point. Okay. Let's try this one. Uh oh, that's not correct. He has lost a point. Okay. What about this one? Yeah, that is correct. Good. So he has 100 points. Né? Let's look at the next one. Okay, he's going to spin again. To change your life today. Okay, we have this one. He's having 200 points. We have x plus 5 is equals to 9. Which one is correct? Is it x plus 2? x is equals to 2? B. x is equals to 9 plus 4? Which is equal to 13 or C. 9 minus 15 is equal to 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. Which one do you think is the answer? My God is able. That is correct. 9 minus 5. Because this is plus. If you transpose this plus, it's going to be what? Minus. So he has a point which is 200 point. So the next team is going to spin. My God is oh, another question. X minus two is equals to eight. How do you answer this one? They've given us the solution. We want to find out whether it's true or false. So the solution says eight minus two x is equals to 6. Is it true or is false? That is correct. It's false. What do you think is the correct answer here? 
if you transpose this minus 2, it's supposed to be what? Plus 2. Because that's the additive inverse, not minus. Plus. Good. You will change your life today. Okay, the next team is 200, 200. Oh, he says, click the power up to find out what you got. Spin again. Okay, let me spin again. My God is powerful. My God is Good. There's another question here. Y minus 1 is equal to 5. Is it true or false? Okay. I'm going to say true. Mm -mm, that is not correct. Why? Because... If I transpose this minus 1, it's going to be what? Plus 1, not minus. Alright, the additive inverse. If this is minus, it's going to be what? Plus. So the answer is what? False. Because when he transpose, instead of it being plus, it is minus here, which is wrong. So this is what? False. You get it? Good. Good. To open your eyes to then future. let's spin again he's able to change your situation he will lift you up oh we have this question it says y minus 2 is equals to 5 which one is the correct answer y good that is correct because if you transpose this, this is minus, it's going to be plus. It's plus 2. So 5 plus 2 is what? 7. Good. Let's continue. The next thing. Okay, we have this solution. Let's see whether it's true or it's false. Is true because if I transpose this plus and uh, minus eight is going to be what plus eight, so that is true. Okay, let me spin again for the next thing. This one is it true or is false? It's also true. Why this is minus? If I transpose this minus six, it's going to be plus six. This 20 is still there. So 20 plus 6 is going to give you 26. And fire, my God is able. And the next one. Change your life today. He's able. Say spin again. He's able. Good. X plus 3 is equal to 6. What is it going to give you? That is also true. Is three how plus three if i transpose this plus three is going to be minus three and six minus three is what three He's able. He's able. okay game over who won this one team one won 450 point team two is 400 okay so for your ticket two this is what you are going to do for me you do this one solve for the variables x right y z good bye don't forget to subscribe